hi guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new here my name is Oluchi and in today's video I'll be talking about my experience with the O'Herrickson is it Ole Herrickson truth serum this is their vitamin C serum first of all I'm going to talk a bit about vitamin C what it does to the skin or what it put yeah what it does to the skin so vitamin C when applied onto the skin it helps to protect the skin against the um, photo damage from the UV rays, UV rays from the sun. So this is what vitamin C basically does for you. Not only that it protects or does for us, not only that it protects our skin from the harmful rays of the sun, it also helps to like, it also potentially reduces like dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and then it also reduces the appearance of um, fine lines and all those things visible signs of aging my experience with it so far because this is the second um, bottle of the serum that I'm, I've used so far and I have actually run out of it it's raining just a tiny bit maybe I'll just get like two uses out of this and then I'll be done with it so the first time I used um, a vitamin C serum was around my birthday last year sometime in september last year i got this set or herrickson truth serum gift set or more like travel set as a gift and then i did a bit of research about vitamin c and i saw that it was an essential and then in the in the set it contained the serum it contained an eye cream the banana bright eye cream if that's what the name is and it also contained a moisturizer which i totally loved it was always the first to finish so anyway i started using all these products so i was using that um practically every day and i must say that the first thing that i noticed was the citrus smell of the serum it smelled like lollipop really did not mind but to be honest i don't like products that have perfume in them because i find out that they irritate my skin but i didn't mind because i just like the way it smelled and then i would say that i noticed that it like quickly absorbs into the skin you know so i liked that about it and i could wear my makeup with it as well so like immediately it i apply it not like it wouldn't take a while it would just like basically as absorb into my skin and i really liked it so i exhausted that one and then i decided to buy another one i just wanted to buy the serum but when i checked it was this a bottle i think of 30, of 30 ml cost about 43 pounds if i'm correct and then i'm like what and i decided to get the travel set of three which consists of this serum in 50 the 15 ml of this serum um the moisturizer and the eye cream and mind you this the one i, I tried previously it lasted for for over like up to four months and then i'm like you know what there's no point buying the 30 mil for that price when i can get the gifts sorry the travel set for 35 pounds and i started using it then along the line i decided to try another vitamin c from the ordinary which i like just that yeah which i like as well so i was alternating between two of them and then i would mostly use this one when i on the days that i would wear makeup because i found out that the one from the ordinary it would take it's slightly oily because it's the ascorbic acid one with um, um alpha beating so it will it's slightly i find that one to be slightly oily this one is this one is more like it's more gel like oil free and then it absorbs quickly into the skin so but what i would say i noticed with this one that my skin got a bit aggravated like it had it was irritated and not that the, like the irritation of course it doesn't last it just i just know when i apply it maybe and then maybe i look in the mirror and i'm about to do my makeup i'll just notice like rashes which before at the end of the day would like everything will subside everything will calm down so that's what i noticed with this one i noticed that it was not until i was about to run out of it that i noticed that my skin might be a little bit irritated by this so i am honestly i'm totally thinking the irritation is from the citrus smell that i really love so that's it and i was honestly i was frankly thinking of repurchasing this because i mean 
who doesn't want to protect her skin i love to like i love to protect i love to take care of my skin and everything and then since this is the my first vitamin c i've ever tried i and i love to stick to products that i'm so used to i was i wanted to continue using this but as it seems i don't think i will be repurchasing this i will continue with my the one from vite sorry the one from What's that brand called again? The one from the ordinary. I'll continue with it because after all, that's what I have under my makeup now, and it's not like it's totally fine. Because I was concerned, I thought that because that one is a bit oily, that it would affect my makeup, but it totally didn't affect my makeup, as you can see. And then the thing I think I was doing wrong with that one is that I was using a bit too much of it because. I mean, all these serums, little goes a long way. We don't need to use it to give ourselves a shower. <laughs> so, yes. And then coming to um, if I noticed any difference, to be honest, I can't really tell because I've been incorporating other um, skincare products to my skincare routine. So maybe this, well, like I said, vitamin C protects the skin. So maybe this has this has actually been protecting my skin without me knowing but if it's for like um physical like noticing any difference physically uh, like physically i honestly don't think i noticed any difference like that because um prior to my using other like skincares that are potent <laughs> I was using this this was the only um major skincare product i was using besides my moisturizer and while i was using it, i didn't really see any difference to be honest my hyperpigmentation was still there not that i expected it to like white clear the hyperpigmentation out but like i said i didn't really notice any visible difference or maybe if i had paid attention i would have noticed but i didn't notice so but but not to say that it's not a good one it's a good one i would like I said, I don't think I'll be repurchasing this just because it irritates my skin to an extent. But I will definitely be considering getting the other one, the moisturizer that comes with it, the ZC Rush or something like that, the one that comes with it. I would be getting because that one I love. It's so cooling. It's gel like it's not greasy. I totally love the way it applies. And then for the banana cream, the banana cream is just there. It's okay. I I just like to use it on my eye. Not that I have any major concerns with my my area, besides the bags I get occasionally. That has to be all about it for my experience using this Ole Hericsson Street Serum. Oh, trust me, I totally like how it smells. Let me see if I can get something out of it and then. Okay, see, see what I mean. It's. Can you see it's gel like and it's a bit orange it's a bit orange and it's gel like maybe sometime in the nearest future i might just repurchase it because i know myself i always say oh i'm not going to get a product but i end up getting it so if you if you've tried this serum let me know what you think about it let me know if it worked for you let me know if it did not work for you please just let me know in the comment section below and then if you also know other like good potent uh, vitamin c serums out there let me know as well yes before i end this video please when using all these kind of um products or even if you're not using any special skincare products be sure to use your sunscreen every day even if you're not going outside as long as you have windows in your house in your homes be sure to wear your spf your sunscreen and then that has to be it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please be sure to subscribe to my channel and then i'll see you in my next one bye